Hi everybody, um, I've been doing a lot of research on um, different websites, YouTube, um, different places. Um, as you can probably tell, I'm quite a keen peddler. Um, but unfortunately, here in the UK, there doesn't seem to be a lot of um, information regarding the type of kayak that I was interested in. Um, I was looking at a few, but the one that kept popping up and was available in the UK was this brand called Pelican. Um, not paid at all by them <laughs> whatsoever, just that there's no information and don't care about views. I just care about helping probably a few people out who are considering these. So I uh, just thought I'd do a quick run by. I uh, don't want to make it too long. I'm not exactly a YouTuber. But anyway, uh, I'll start at the um, bow and work my way through so you can briefly have a look. Um, Right, up front, we've got carry handles, a bit of a cheaper style, but they're very well made, as you can see. Um, seem quite solid. There are a few bits I'm going to do to this. Uh, hole design is very good. It's like a V-shaped hole. Um, you get bungee straps. And I've got to say, the, the actual quality of this is absolutely amazing. Um, you probably can't tell from there, but there are actually cutouts on there where they're marked up to actually put a hatch in as well if you're that way inclined which i probably will but it isn't sealed at this end there's no bulkhead at the front um working your way down um oh there you are stuck in there you've got a little cubby hole there which is like a waterproof jobby uh that sits in there sorry i can see that it's not too bad it's pretty cool plonk that back in there Excuse the camera angle. <laughs> is that a YouTuber? <laughs> um, cockpit size is quite large. I don't have the dimensions of the cockpit, but that was a selling point for me because I've had kayaks before where they're very tight, uh, sort of to get in and out of. And you know, I'm nearly 50 years old, so I want it so with a bit of ease. Um, sort of uh, thigh thigh um, pads are not too bad. They're they're pretty decent quality as you can see they're sort of riveted well riveted on with plastic studs they're pretty good um see oh sorry before we go there you've got you've got your foot rests they're sort of like the clip type where you can uh pull pull your feet back and they'll click into place um so yeah pretty straightforward With regard to seat this was a selling point for me um, I wasn't going to buy this because the style of the seat, apparently not replaceable for any, or any upgrade. But when I turned up in Bali, I actually went to the store and picked it up. Luckily, I was only about two hours away to pick it up. Um, I was pleasantly surprised. The seat is actually comfortable. It's raised as well. You've got a raised uh, thigh part on there for your seat, uh, which does help in paddling. And also the seat itself, although it's not fixed exactly, uh, it, exactly, uh, uh, nice sturdy to fixings. It still works. It works very well. Um, and the uh, the backrest is actually adjustable for for height as well. And obviously you've got the you know the straps, um, but manually obviously you, you have to pull them. But it works. Um, in the rear you've got storage before you go on the bulkhead, which is ample for if you're doing sort of day trips things like that, which works very well. And um, going to the rear i think there's a pedal holder at the back there uh yeah seems all right very well made though it is their premium brand and it's it's not too flexible the hole is rock solid as well very impressed um back hatch sealed bulkhead which is pretty cool uh it's padded at the back there as well for um for me putting gear in there which is great and then excuse me camera angles <sighs> carry handle and um, yeah, yeah, uh, drain plug there. But all in all, very good kayak for the money. Uh, in the UK, it was um, seven, four, nine, or seven and a half hundred quid for us UK bods out there. But it is an American brand, so I'm not too sure what it'd be in America. Uh, let's try and turn this thing over. Uh, hole design uh, is very good. As you can see, I think it's about 20 eight inches wide in the widest part. It's a V-shaped hole, replaceable oh. skeg, uh, which is cool, which seems to work. And um, yeah, there you go. Uh, just a quick short video. I do hope this helps people because I really struggled and I was lucky enough to be quite close to 
to the shop so i thought we'll stop it i'll drive there and have a look but yeah very happy very decent hull uh absolute solid it really is very very impressive um is it worth 750 quid if you've got the dough um i've tried some other one piranhas different kayaks and i think all in all if you want a, a, an open cockpit kayak which is my choice uh, then yeah i'd definitely recommend it i know stock levels do fluctuate in the uk well, what i was told anyway um but yeah yeah uh, if you guys like then obviously give us a thumbs up if it's helped you that was the main objective cheers guys